Welcome to the District U46 Dual Language Program Informational Meeting presentation. We are thrilled to share information about our program, and we hope that you decide to have your child participate in this amazing opportunity. This presentation is meant for parents of incoming kindergarten students, as well as current kindergarten students in general education entering first grade. In this presentation, we hope that you will learn more about the benefits of bilingualism, dual language in U46, the U46 8020 program model, the dual language enrollment process. Our hope is that once you learn about these elements, you will be able to make well-informed decisions on the best instructional program for your child. Three reports from 2017 outline key findings of the importance of bilingualism or multilingualism in our society. The American Academy of Arts and Sciences reported on the investment in language education for the 21st century and found that the United States lags behind most nations of the world, including European nations and China, in the percentage of its citizens who have some knowledge of a second language. Other findings include, the study of a second language has been linked to improved learning outcomes in other subjects, enhanced cognitive ability, and the development of empathy and effective interpretive skills. The ability to understand, speak, read, and write in world languages in addition to English is critical to success in business, research, and international relations. The use of a second language has been linked to a delay in certain manifestations of aging, such as dementia. In addition to the previous findings, the studies show that global competence is a critical skill that employers are seeking. They are looking for culturally astute employees with multilingual skills, also known as soft skills, not just employees who are technically proficient, since employers feel they can train people in these areas. A study by the New American Economy found that the demand for bilingual workers is rising. While U.S. employers posted roughly 240,000 job advertisements, aimed at bilingual workers in 2010, that figure had more than doubled by 2016, growing to approximately 630,000. The Illinois Seal of Biliteracy is awarded to students during their senior year in recognition of attaining proficiency in two or more languages. The SEAL is one of our goals and outcomes for the students in our dual language high school program in U46. The SEAL of biliteracy looks like this. In addition, it provides post-secondary opportunities, such as earning college credits awarded by post-secondary institutions. For example, Elgin Community College awards eight credits, Northern Illinois University awards 12 credits, and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign awards eight credits. What does this mean for you and your child? Savings and investment for the future. The opportunity to have the seal of biliteracy validated in other states. The possibility of earning scholarships enhanced qualifications and opportunities for the workforce, and increased motivation to use both languages in interactions with others. Now let's learn more details about dual language education in U46. Dual language programming provides benefits to students, families, and the world. Doctors Thomas and Collier, experts in this field who have conducted comprehensive and longitudinal studies on bilingual students and bilingual education, have found the following. 
students enrolled in dual language programs demonstrate higher levels of engagement than students in any of the other programs. Dual language programs are the only programs that promise full academic gap closure and the highest academic achievement for all students. Students in a dual language program develop neurological connections in their brains that enhance their cognitive development over students in monolingual programs. Dual language programs that go all the way through 12th grade graduate students who are proficient bilinguals capable of performing their jobs in two languages. Let's talk about who participates in the dual language program. The first group of students are students who are identified as English learners by way of an Illinois State Board of Education language screener upon registering to a school district. The dual language program serves as the bilingual service that they are entitled to per Illinois school code. Additionally, students who are not identified as English learners are welcome to participate in the program starting in kindergarten and first grade. These could be students from English only speaking homes or students that come from multilingual homes. Now that we've learned about dual language programs in general, we would like to share with you specifics about the 8020 dual language program in school district U46. The goals of dual language programs are that all students will develop high levels of proficiency in two languages, English and Spanish, perform at or above grade level academically, demonstrate positive cross-cultural attitudes or competencies and behaviors, be on a long-term path towards becoming bilingual and biliterate global citizens. The first essential is that there has to be a maximum of 80% of the instruction in the target language, in our case Spanish, and a minimum of 50%. The second essential is that the program is intentional and has an instructional plan that outlines how each language will be used and developed. Additionally, teachers should also create experiences for students to compare and contrast both languages in order to identify similarities and differences and to support the development of bilingualism and biliteracy. This really helps students bridge both languages together. The third element is parental commitment. Research says that it takes time to acquire a language academically. Under the best conditions, it can take about six to seven years. Therefore, your parental commitment and support are key. Results will be seen in the long run once your child or children have had enough years to acquire language as he or she is immersed in instruction of both languages. As a school district, we are committed and proud to offer the dual language program from pre-K through 12th grade. Here is a visual of the U46 Parent Compact outlining your commitment to the dual language program. By signing this Parent Compact, parents are acknowledging that they understand the academic and language objectives for the development of a second language. Parents are also confirming that they have read this compact and that they will support their child's successful participation in the dual language program. In U46, our dual language program has two models, one way and two way. The curriculum, resources, expectations, and teacher preparation are the same for both models. The only difference between one-way and two-way is the composition of the class, in other words, the group of students that make up the class. In a one-way class, all of the students are students who are identified as English learners with Spanish as a home language. The title one-way DL stems from the one group in the class.
In a two-way class, the class is composed of students who are English learners and students who are not identified as English learners. The title two-way DL stems from the two groups in the class. These are sample schedules for kindergarten and first grade dual language students in U46. As we mentioned before, one key element of a dual language program is the strategic use of languages. You can see this is evident in the kindergarten sample schedule. Language, reading, writing, and math will be in Spanish, and social studies, science, and PE will be in English. Similar to kindergarten, first grade dual language students will have language, reading, writing, and math in Spanish, and social studies, science, specials, PE, art, and music, an additional block of language will be in English. You just learned about the elementary sites that house the dual language program. For your future reference, we are proud to share that the dual language program is also offered at the secondary level at the schools displayed on the slide. Now that we've learned general information about the dual language program in U46, we would like to share with you specifics about the 80-20 dual language program in School District U46. In choosing the most appropriate language model for our program, we considered students' language environments. As is evident on the slide, our students live in a predominantly English environment which is represented in light blue on the slide. Even in homes where Spanish is spoken, students are exposed to English. As a result, it is critical to establish a solid foundation in Spanish, where students have the opportunity to develop both academic and social language. What do we mean by 80-20 program model? Let's learn about how much of the instruction is spent in each language. We use the colors green and blue to represent both languages. Spanish is represented by green and English is represented in blue. Students in preschool and kindergarten receive instruction in Spanish 80% of the day and English 20% of the day. This is why the program is called an 80-20 model, because it refers to the percentages allocated to the start of the student's experience in the dual language program. The percentage changes in first grade, where 70% of daily instruction is performed in Spanish and 30% in English. In second grade, we see another change with an increment of English up to 40% and Spanish daily instruction at 60%. As you can see on this graph, instruction from third grade to sixth grade is 50% in Spanish and 50% in English. Now that you have seen the language allocation and the expectations of the program, here are other ideas to support your child at home. Please take a minute to read some of the recommendations. It is important to understand your role as a parent in the program. The overall commitment we ask of you is to foster the mindset that they should be proud of their bilingualism and learning another language. This supports the biliteracy and bicultural goals of the program. One way to do this is to support both languages, even if your household only speaks one language. It takes intentional work to assure students understand the importance of both languages. We also want to point out that in dual language education, there is a notion that Spanish is the minority language within a majority culture. In other words, Students learn quickly just by living in the United States that English is the majority language. Therefore, as parents and educators, we need to purposefully elevate the status of Spanish so that the child values it as equally as English. 
If your hope is that your child will participate in the program, we strongly advise that you start cultivating the mindset now. The earlier, the better. This will likely avoid the child from experiencing language culture shock and associated learning another language with something negative. In turn, this will likely result in a more positive start in the program. Some examples of what you can do are watching Spanish English TV at certain times, listening to Spanish English music, talk about different Spanish English speaking cultures, learn a Spanish or English word of the day as a family, celebrate any time a student attempts to speak Spanish or English, eat and discuss foods from different Spanish English speaking countries. Remember that you must submit the dual language interest form before the established deadline. This is for any student entering kindergarten and or non-English learner students entering first grade for the next school year who are not in the program in kindergarten but would like to participate in the program starting in first grade. The deadline for parents to submit the 80-20 dual language interest form is May 13th. We strongly encourage you to please complete the interest form online instead of the paper form. Admission to the two-way dual language satellite schools is based on whether the home school has a two-way dual language classroom and or whether there is space availability in the two-way dual language classrooms at the assigned satellite school. The priority will be given first to students attending their home school and second to students attending the satellite school. Remember, these decisions are also determined based on space availability at the sites. All submissions received after the deadline will follow the same process. Lastly, non-English learner students who are attending satellite schools are eligible for transportation within the district's transportation guidelines. And we want to remind you that we strongly believe in the philosophy that states, no child has to lose a language to learn another language.